but I just want to go over this problem and to show some of the examples for those of you that got stuck. The main important thing I would recommend is isolating your absolute or isolating your radical expression. So I'm going to subtract the three on both sides. Therefore, I have 5x minus 1 equals x minus 3. Right? Now I need to undo the square root, so I'm going to square both sides. Well, the square root of something squared is just going to be 5x minus 1. Here is x minus 3 squared. That is a binomial squared. That is x minus 3 times x minus 3, which produces a perfect square trinomial. All expressions you guys should be familiar with. I can do this in my head without breaking a sweat, not because I'm a math teacher, but because we've been doing so many of these this year. You guys should be at the same level. You should know but that by applying FOIL, this is what your answer is going to be. Then you guys can see I have a lot of x's, right? It says solve for x. And I have one, two, three x's. Are they all linear? No. So I can't just get them on the same side, combine them, and solve. One, two of them are linear, and one is quadratic. So therefore, I need to set them equal to 0. And they neither apply factoring, completing the square, or quadratic formula. So I set them equal to 0 by subtracting a 5x on both sides, adding a 1 to both sides. And I get 0 equals x squared minus 11x plus 10. Now I need to figure out what two numbers multiply to give me 10, add to give me negative 11. And therefore, that's going to, yes? So therefore, I get x minus 10 times x minus 1. OK, so therefore, my solutions, when I apply the zero product property, I'm trying to go a little bit quick for class. Um, when I apply the zero product property, I get x equals 10 and x equals 1. We're kind of familiar with the zero product property, right? I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Is everybody OK with what I did? So make sure you guys um, are applying the FOIL and go through there. Now, again, I'm only going to be able to check your answers, ladies and gentlemen, once I can see that you put a check mark. Either you label them extraneous or you say that the answer is correct. So let's go back and check our answers. You have to check your answers. I am only going to check your answer and agree with you if you put a check mark there. OK? You're not going to have that on your test. But I want to make sure that you have checked your answers and you are good with them. So if we put in 10, 5 times 10 is 50. 50 minus 1 is 49. Square root of 49 is 7. S 7, uh, 7 plus 3 is 10. And I originally put in 10. 10 equals 10. Good. Let's do 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 1 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. And I originally put in 1. Does 5 equal 1? No. no. So this is extraneous. And that answer works. So not always are all your answers going to work.